We're going to do a review of some stuff. We're going to talk about exclamation points today, okay? And then I've got a fun activity for you. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so we worked on this and this ending, okay, this week. And I need you to help me remember if I have this word, pop, how do I add this ending to it? Let's remind ourselves, is this saying its name? No, it's not. It's saying its sound. So when it's saying its sound, what do we need to do before we add that ending? You got it. We got to put another P on there and then add the ending. What about this ending? That's right. We're going to do the same thing. Two P's and then the ending. Great job, guys. Let's see if we can do another one. How about this word? Wave. Is it saying its name? Yes, it is. So, you know, do we need that double letter at the end? No, we don't. We just put a D on there. What about over here? What do we do with that E? You're right. We drop the E at ING. Okay. Let's review our sounds. All right. We had this one last week. What sound? You're right. Ugh. And we had these three, and they all say the same thing. One of their other sounds is ooh, ooh, ooh. Good job. This is the one we worked on this week. What are two? What is the sound that these two can make? Yes, you're right. They can say e, like in east. Good job, like I want a piece of candy. Or they can say E like on the end of a word, like happy. Good job. And then we had our pictures. Okay, we had this guy. So this, this one has another sound. Tell me what sound do these two say? You got it. They say ow, like in how. How about my favorite, Roy the droid? What fun sound does O-Y and O-I say? Yes, they do. They say, oi, good job. And then these two, they're in love. What do they say? They say, aw, very good, first graders. Okay, now as promised, we are going to talk about exclamation points. Okay, an exclamation point is an end mark meaning it goes at the end of a statement or sentence, and it looks like this. It's a straight line down and a dot under it, okay? So I'm going to write a sentence that has an exclamation point. Okay, here is my sentence with an exclamation point. Help me read it. We went to the, oh, there's my ooh sound, zoo, and it was so much fun. Okay, now when we have an exclamation point on the end of a sentence, we are going to say that sentence with a little excitement because that exclamation point tells us this is exciting. So, if I was going to read this with some excitement, it would sound like this. We went to the zoo, and it was so much fun. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? And my voice got a little louder, too, because when I'm excited, I might get a little louder. We don't want to get too loud because we're still reading, but we want to sound excited so people can understand that that sentence is an exciting sentence. Okay, now time for me to show you this activity I have for you. Okay, what I have are some pictures, and then I have some clips. And on these clips, each clip has a sound, and there are, those sounds are in these words. Okay, so what your student will do here is they're going to clip the sound to the word that contains that sound. So, for example, this is jaw. Jaw. What would you clip to jaw? 
Good job. We would clip the ah sound. Okay, and this is bird. Bird. What would we clip to bird? Good job. Now, parents, if you don't have clips, that's okay. You could just take these pieces of paper and put them down there and they need to match them. What about cow? And you'll notice on my last two, I did draw a little picture so they could tell the difference. You wouldn't have to do that. What about moon? Okay, and she chose my OO that has my OO like in a boo. Okay, what about cook? Very good, and I made this a little tricky because this one goes with another one. It's going to have to be clipped with it. Paw. Well, she figured that out right away. It goes with my ah sound. All right, first graders, we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.